Hey team, Mitch here from Joe's Base Camp in Brookvale. As always, we hope you guys are doing well and keeping safe through these truly unique times. Today I'm bringing you another Base Camp Daily. So these are our short five, 10 minute challenges you can do at home. We're trying to show to you that there really is no reason why you can't do um, some exercise during these times. Obviously it is now more important than ever that you continue to do so. So today I'm gonna to actually teach you a new exercise. So we're gonna work through a specific exercise and work through some progressions. I'm just gonna work through short blocks of it. And even if you already know this exercise, I can guarantee you'll get something out of actually incorporating into, into your routine, which you may not already do. So the exercise that we are learning today is a bear crawl. It is a fantastic exercise, really, really good for stability of the shoulder, stability of the core, um, and then also just working through that whole spinal control, and it will also get, get the heart rate up and give the legs a bit of a burn as well. So if you have those specific things you wanna work on, especially something like your shoulder mobility, it's a really good chance for you to work on that. And you can incorporate it, as you'll see in a second, really easily within three or four minutes at the end of your session. The only thing you will need is a book. I'm just gonna use a little notebook. Anything you have lying around the house is perfect. If you want an even harder challenge, you can actually use a little ball as well. Perhaps a tennis ball would be perfect, but I'll explain how that will work. The way I'm gonna run you through this, like I said, I have four progressions to work through. I'm gonna start at the easiest one and then I'm gonna work my way down through towards some of the harder ones. We're gonna work for 30 seconds on each one. Having said that, if you're feeling a bit more com um, uh, comfortable, sorry, you can work for up to a minute on each one before you try and progress towards the next. So I'm gonna explain it all as I go. I'm just gonna get my timer on here to work us through 30 second intervals. So we're starting in 10 seconds. Now we're just gonna find a position on the floor. Initially, we're just gonna do a 90 hold. So what that is going to be is a static movement. Looking exactly like this, we're looking for shoulders straight over the wrists and we're looking for knees straight under the hips. That means we have a 90 degree angle at the shoulders, we have a 90 degree angle at the hips. So we're just trying to hold in this really static position, but really stable. What I want to avoid is any leaning back this way or any bum up this way. So down nice and low, knees low to the floor, draw the head back, and that's our first movement. So really good for you to practice that one and nail that because that is gonna be the foundation of all these other movements we're gonna add into it. So just think shoulders over the wrists, knees under the hips, knees really low to the floor. We're gonna progress that now, we're gonna add some movement forward and back. So I'll show you what that will look like. You'll only need perhaps a one to two meter space is completely fine. And we're gonna work for a really slow controlled movement. Here we go, we're gonna go 30 seconds again. So down low, we step, opposite hand to foot, working side to side. Coming back, really controlled as we work through those steps. You can see that all the, all the pointers we had within our 90 hold in the last round stay still. So when we stop, I could stop for a moment and I'm back in that same position. Again, knees low, so we're not trying to crawl like this. We're trying to crawl with the knees down nice and low. That's progression number one. Progression number two, we're gonna add some lateral movement. So that means side to side. And again, we're gonna focus on all those same technique things. Probably the most important thing and probably the biggest mistake we see with this is people raising their knees too high. Straight away, that's negating any of the core work we're doing. It's taking the pressure off the legs and that's probably why you wanna do it, to give yourself a break. Work through shorter rounds, keep the knees low. So, we're in the same position here, we draw the head back, lateral steps. Working across, again, just one, two meters is completely fine. And again, if I needed to, I could stop and hold, and I'm in that same position with my knees low, my head back, and my shoulders straight over my wrists. So you should find it's really challenging through the core, really challenging through the legs. Last progression. This is where the book comes into it. Any object works fine, to be honest. If it's flat, it's easier. If it's round, it's a bit harder. We're gonna pop it onto our back. You'll notice straight away, it's gonna add a really increased element of stability to challenge you. We're gonna actually incorporate the last two progressions as well. We're gonna do a little box forward, back, sorry, forward, right, back, and then left. 
So we'll start in the corner, foot goes onto the back, we're in our position and we work through our forward steps, approximately a metre, lateral to the right, reverse, so it should really force you to work much slower and to the left. And we'll just repeat that for 30 seconds, focusing on that really controlled movement. So there you have it, all you need is a book. There's those four progressions that you can work through. So starting off with your 90 hold first, focusing on those positions of the wrist, position of the knees. Number two, forward and back. Make sure you can nail that before you add in the third one, our lateral. And then your last one, a book, which you can progress to a tennis ball or anything round you can place on there, that extra challenge. Really, really good way to finish off your workout. You can set yourself the goal of aiming to do perhaps one minute before you progress onto the next movement. Add it in Monday, Wednesday, Friday each week, and you're good to go. That is it. We look forward to seeing you at our next Base Camp Daily. Goodbye for now.